It is official, Vince McMahon has officially been reinstated to the WWE Board of Directors, marking the return of the former WWE Chairman and CEO to the company. Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. This Vince McMahon news just won't end. It's ever evolving. It's ever changing. It's ever continuing. And the latest development is, of course, that Vince McMahon is officially back. The retirement has been unretired because Vince McMahon is now back on the WWE Board of Directors. The paperwork has been filed. It's signed, sealed, and delivered. And Vince McMahon is indeed back in WWE after his July retirement last year. Vince McMahon is back. A new filing shows that Vince McMahon is returning to the WWE Board of Directors. Former WWE co-presidents Michelle Wilson and George Barrios are also on the board. Independent directors Alan Wexler, Joe Ellen, Leon Dillon and Jeffrey Speed have been removed from the WWE Board of Directors. The filing shows that Vince has made changes to WWE's bylaws, so media rights deals and any company sales can't be made without his approval. Remember, Vince McMahon had already said to the WWE Board of Directors that he would veto, he would block any WWE sale of the company, any media rights negotiations if they didn't allow him back. Now that he is back, he's changed WWE law, so they have to go through him anyway. He had the company held to ransom, held hostage, and Vince McMahon is is now back. The filing also does include emails Vince has sent to the board. The full filing we're going to read out in just a second. As I mentioned, as we spoke about earlier today, Vince McMahon took action on Thursday to return to WWE in an effort to participate in media rights negotiations. In a press release, Vince said, quote, WWE is entering a critical juncture in its history with the upcoming media rights negotiations coinciding with increased industry-wide demand for quality content and live events and with more companies seeking to own the intellectual property on their platforms. The only way for WWE to fully capitalize on this opportunity is for me to return as executive chairman and support the management team in the negotiations for our media rights and to combine that with a review of strategic alternatives, a WWE sale that may be. My return to WWE as well as any transaction counterparties to engage in these processes knowing they will have the full support of the controlling shareholder. Of course. This marks the return for McMahon, who retired as WWE CEO on July 22nd amid a board investigation of sexual misconduct and hush money allegations. WWE confirmed the investigation wrapped up in November. Despite his retirement, McMahon remained a majority, uh, retained rather majority voting power due to his ownership of WWE Class B stock. Now, this is where it gets really interesting because the full filing is absolutely fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. And uh, shout out hat tip to Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics. He's posted the entirety of this uh, big lengthy filing. Again, a lot of it is legally, so we're not going to get too much into the legal side of it, but the new filing says effective immediately, Vince McMahon puts himself, Michelle Wilson and George Barrios on the board and removes independent directors Alan Wexler, Joe Ellen, Leon Stillen and Jeffrey Speed. The filing shows Vince making changes to WWE's bylaws so media rights deals and any company sales cannot be made without his approval. Again, a reminder, he told WWE in these email filings that they couldn't happen without him anyway. The filing includes his letters to the board as exhibits. Now, Vince's December 20 letter to WWE's board writing he wants to come back as executive chairman. This is where it gets really, really, really interesting, really fascinating. And again... It's where this does get somewhat Game of Thrones and somewhat like succession if you watch that show. Nevertheless, this is what uh, Vince McMahon has said in this company email. He said, Dear Board of Directors, I've always recognized that we have a massive responsibility to the WWE Universe. He even uses that phrase <laughs> in internal emails. Our fans deserve the best entertainment experience that WWE can offer. And I thank you for your efforts to keep our company focused on that goal throughout this distinctly challenging year for WWE. Throughout my entire tenure with the company, I have always been committed to doing what I believe to be in the best interest of WWE and our employees, shareholders, fans, and other stakeholders. It is also why I voluntarily retired from the company during the pendency of the special committee investigation and fully cooperated with the committee and its independent counsel's process. My retirement was intended to give the special committee, its independent counsel, and the rest of the board time and space needed to understand and respond to the allegations. 
Now that the completion of the special committee investigation has been publicly disclosed, I believe WWE has a unique opportunity during this critical juncture to maximize value for its shareholders and all other stakeholders, specifically given the rapidly evolving media landscape in which more and more companies are seeking to own the intellectual property offered on their streaming platforms. I firmly believe that the best thing to do for all of WWE shareholders and other stakeholders is to undertake a comprehensive review of strategic alternatives. I am confident that our other shareholders will support this decision. As you know, the media rights subject uh, to the upcoming negotiations are critical to any strategic alternative consideration, and therefore the two initiatives must occur in parallel fashion. By combining a review of strategic alternatives with the media rights negotiations, our company can make a better, more well-informed, and faster decisions. Moreover, any party that engages in strategic discussions with WWE will want to be assured that I, as the control controlling shareholder am aligned with the decision making process. In other words, we must unify the company's decision making regarding these two interconnected initiatives to try and fully capitalize on this unique opportunity. Basically saying, I need to come back. I'm going to come back. I need to come back. Um, and again, it's very, very interesting that he would say that. He then says, um, for these reasons, it's critical for me to rejoin the board as executive chairman to work alongside our management team in leading the exploration of strategic alternatives and media rights negotiations. And it is necessary to fulfill my commitment to doing what is best for WWE. Successfully navigating this process will require close coordination among WWE's leadership and the board, as well as a clearly defined and well executed strategy to secure the greatest value for WWE stockholders. As WWE's founder and largest shareholder, no one has greater interest in the long-term success of WWE or is more aligned with WWE shareholders than me. I want to be very clear that I wholeheartedly believe that WWE has an exceptional management team in place. Stephanie, Nick, Paul and the rest of the management team have my full and unconditional support. And as executive chairman, I would support them to facilitate unified, efficient and effective decision making during this important period in the company's history. An announcement that I am rejoining the board as executive chairman provides a natural opportunity for WWE to announce its intention to engage in a strategic review process in light of time of the media rights cycle, it is important to finalize my return to WWE as soon as possible. Accordingly, I'd request to hear back from you by 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, January 3rd. That was three days ago. I intend to keep my letter and ancillary communications out of the public domain and trust the board will do the same. A bit of a nudge to how we got forced out in the first place with those stories leaking out to the Wall Street Journal. While I, of course, reserve all of my rights, strong preference is to conduct any dialogue regarding this later letter privately and collaboratively. I, along with the corporate counsel at Kirkland and Ellis LLP, am available to discuss any questions you may have. Thank you for your continued commitment to WWE. I look forward to working together to maximize value for our shareholders, other stakeholders, and the entire WWE universe. Happy holidays, Vince. Now that was the first letter. Now the board's response is absolutely fascinating. This is what they had to say, which basically said, go do one, we don't want you to come back. They said, quote, Dear Vince, we write in response to your letter of December 20. We fully agree with your assessment that the company's management team is exceptional and are pleased to hear that Stephanie, Nick, Paul and the rest of the management team have your full and unconditional support. We believe that our investors, employees and fans agree. There is tremendous excitement at the company and among our fan base and the stock price has grown more than 40% in just the last year. We remain optimistic about the continued success of this management team and the WWE franchise overall and we believe your support is critical to this success. As you know, it is our fiduciary obligation to continue to act in a way we believe is in the best interest of the company and its shareholders. We have always taken that responsibility very seriously and all of our decisions are guided by this duty. With respect to your suggestion regarding a process to evaluate strategic alternatives and your role in that process, we are prepared to initiate such a process and are happy to work with you to ensure that is the best process for the company and all of its shareholders. Indeed, we will welcome you and your advisors playing an important role in that process including working together to identify the full range of potential alternatives and counterparties. 
to that end, we suggest that your bankers and lawyers meet with our bankers and lawyers in the first week of January to discuss how to best move forward together with this process. Although we welcome your participation in the launch of a strategic alternative review process, it is also our unanimous view that your return to the company at this time, while government investigations into your conduct by the US Attorney's Office and SEC are still pending, it would not be prudent from a shareholder value perspective. This determination is based on a variety of factors, including non-public information the board has become aware of and risk to the company and its shareholders of placing a greater spotlight on these issues. Basically, the board is saying, we don't want you to come back. We're happy to work with you to sell the company. But at the same time, you coming back on a full-time basis will only shine a greater light on some issues that the public doesn't even know yet about. And also, a bit of a, frail, a veiled threat by the board of directors saying, if you come back, there's plenty of more stuff we can leak to the Wall Street Journal, which could actually tank the company and tank you, maybe even in a criminal matter. Now, they also say, quote, the attached draft letter agreement provides that the board will not agree to the shareholder demand that the company file suit against you on the conditions that you confirm your commitment to repay all of the investigation related expenses incurred by the company. And yet you agree not to serve as an officer, director or employee of the company during the pendency of the government investigations. Of course, McMahon basically saying, no, I'm not going to do that. But they're really threatening legal action against the majority shareholder of the company. This is where it gets really wild. Those conditions and the draft letter agreement reflecting such conditions were unanimously approved by the board prior to receiving your letter on December 20 and were reaffirmed unanimous, unanimously subsequent to that date. We are excited about the future of WWE and its continued success, and we look forward to working with you in the exploration of potential strategic alternatives as we continue to try and maximize a shareholder value. Sincerely, the board of directors of WWE. Now, the board's December 27 email goes on. The determination is based on a variety of factors, including non-public information the board has come aware of and the risk to the company and its shareholders of placing greater spotlight on those issues, like I said. So the board is there for alluding to a shareholder demand letter that the board sue Vince. <laughs> They're suggesting that there are shareholders within the company that sent a letter to the board of directors demanding that the board sue Vince for payment of investigation expenses. The board asked Vince to sign a letter saying he won't come back to WWE, that he will repay the company in exchange for the board agreeing that they won't sue him. Now, Vince then responded to this letter from the board of directors. This was on uh, December 31st in an email writing back to the board, unhappy with their response. This is where Vince McMahon really holds the board to ransom, holds the company hostage. Quote, Dear Board of Directors, I appreciate your timely response to my December 20 letter. However, it is surprising that you did not address what I had sought to make clear in my letter, namely that we have a unique and narrow window of opportunity to maximize shareholder value by combining the upcoming media rights negotiations with a strategic review process the board acknowledges is the right course of action for our shareholders and that the only way to fully capture that opportunity is by having me, the company's founder and controlling shareholder, which he mentioned several times already. He's saying, I'm in charge. I'm the founder controlling shareholder. It's my company. You can't force me out. It continues. Return as executive chairman at this critical time so that I can work alongside the management team to unify the decision making related to, do, to these two interconnected initiatives. I would like to make clear that unless I have direct involvement and input as executive chairman from the outset, I will not be able to support or approve any media rights deals or strategic transaction, including any commitments made by or on behalf of the company regarding a potential transaction or process. This position is not driven by self-interest or lack of confidence in the company's management team, but rather by my commitment to doing what is best for WWE and all of its shareholders and my strong belief that maximizing the outcome of these processes will require close coordination and unified and efficient decision making. I sincerely hope we can work together to unlock this tremendous value potential. There is no rationale for your position that my return to the company would, quote, not be prudent from a shareholder value perspective. To the contrary, my return in the context of media rights negotiations and a potential value maximizing strategic transaction is necessary precisely from a shareholder value perspective because it will 
allow WWE, as well as any transaction counterparties, to engage in these processes knowing they will have the support of the controlling shareholder. Furthermore, the special committee of the board has concluded its, it continues, investigation and presumably all of its material findings have been publicly disclosed by the company and nothing has been communicated to me about any matter that would prevent me from returning to the board. So while I am pleased to see that we all agree as to the board's fiduciary obligations to act in the best interests of WWE and all of its shareholders, it remains unclear to me how the board can discharge these obligations if it does not permit me to be actively involved in helping to lead these two interconnected initiatives from within the boardroom so that I can make a fully informed decision about whether any potential transaction creates the most value for all of our shareholders. I also feel that it is necessary to clearly state my position that in light of the fundamental nature of WWE's media rights to the core value proposition and purpose of WWE, it would be improper for the company or board to take mysterious steps towards any media rights deal without WWE shareholder support, particularly considering that a very clear majority of the voting power explicitly opposes the company taking these steps without shareholder support. Once again, threatening WWE, saying that I have the majority power, I'm still in charge, you can't do anything without me. Regarding the shareholder demand letter, I'm glad to, uh, to learn that following a review of the shareholder demand, the board has determined that the demand does not warrant any further legal action. However, it is unfortunate that the board would seek to use this conclusion in an attempt to extract an agreement from me not to return to the company. Any construct along these lines is entirely unacceptable, especially in light of the critical inflection uh, now points to, uh, towards facing the company. I would li also like to clarify that my intention is to avoid the creation of any conflict of interest related to the special committee's investigation or related matters because of my return to the board. As executive chairman and consistent with my prior actions, I would not interfere with any government investigations or the special committees and independent directors process in cooperating with those or related investigations and would fully support appropriate and tailored governance measures to insulate me from those matters, as well as any improvements to the company's internal controls determined to be appropriate by the independent directors. As I have previously conveyed, I also remain willing to continue working to finalize my reimbursement of the company for its reasonable expenses incurred related to the investigation by and findings of the special committee to the extent not covered by insurance, saying I will pay it back eventually. <laughs> eventually is essentially what he's saying there it is absolutely insane insane game of thrones succession style stuff going on in wwe vince mcmahon says i should come back on the proviso of i've got to help the company with a possible sale and media rights are coming up it'd probably be best if the majority shareholder was there and they'd feel better it's again it's like so passive they'd feel better you understand they'd feel better with me on board and the board says we agree it is a good time to sell. And obviously the media rights fees are coming up and we're happy to work with you. We're happy for you to advise us and we're happy for you to be involved in said negotiations, but we don't want you back in the company. Because if you come back into the company, there are things that aren't out in the press right now. There are things that aren't out in the public right now. Investigations at a federal and government level are still ongoing. Legal investigations are still ongoing. If you come back, you jeopardize the company, you jeopardize these negotiations, you jeopardize a sale. Vince McMahon responds very angrily saying, I dispute what you say. I'm glad you disagree with what the shareholders said when they threatened to sue me and the company, but I'm coming back. And if you don't let me come back, I'm going to burn this company to the ground. I'm not going to allow any negotiation for a sale. I'm not going to allow any negotiation for content right fees. This company will rot from the inside out with me or without me. And there it is. Vince Mann has now been elected back to WWE's board of directors. He now needs three board of director votes, including his own, to be CEO of the company once more. He already has two because Wilson and Barrios, they're back in. And make no mistake, Vince McMahon bringing them back in is for their votes. So now any WWE sale, any media rights deal now legally has to go through Vince McMahon. He's changed the laws of the company as well. And they're just the laws regarding negotiations. What's he going to do in the future? 
And think how crazy this is. Vince McMahon firing Wilson and Barrios, bringing in Nick Khan as the president, making all of this money involving Nick Khan as well, only to get ousted and then use the same people he fired in Wilson and Barrios to come back in and try and overthrow the company. That's wild. That's absolutely wild. And there must be at least one supporting director on that board already that is probably giving McMahon information or at least he believes has a vote for him. Because, again, he will have Wilson's vote, he'll have Barrios's vote, he'll have his own vote, and then he'll have that secret person on the board of directors. And that's enough. That's enough for Vince McMahon to be the CEO once again. That's enough for Vince McMahon to be the chairman of WWE once again. And whilst he has said he's not going to mess or tamper or tinker with the management committee team in WWE, it's only a matter of time. The fact he's coming back to the company with this scrutiny and spotlight on him is just a sign of the ego that this guy has. So despite people saying he's only going to come back to just do media rights deals and do this sale, that's not true. Vince McMahon has lied in the past. So how long is it now? He's officially back. He's officially back in the company. How long is it now before he's in charge of creative? How long is it before talent starts getting budget cut once again and the fat gets trimmed because we're going into a sale process? You let me know <laughs> because this story is ongoing. This story is ever evolving. This story will not end. We have just, just, just scratched the surface and I'm sure there are plenty of details to come out today. So be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe bottom right hand corner. Let me know your thoughts on the next step of this Vince McMahon return and I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.